Ranging from less than 1% remaining here in BC to estimates of less than 5% worldwide, high productivity temperate old growth forests like these here are some of the last of their kind in the entire world. And while they're often known for their massive ancient trees like this incredible western red cedar here, which can be upwards of 3,000 years old, the ecosystems that these trees help create are even more impressive. See all of this varying diversity of different tree species at different ages and spacing, the rich mix of understory species growing beneath them all, the mosses and ferns on the forest floor, as well as the often overlooked underground network of fungi, insects, and bacteria that play intricate roles in nutrient cycling and connect everything, all helps to create complexities that a wide range of biodiversity requires to function and thrive. Additionally, it all performs vast ecological function that helps filter and slow the rate of water moving through these ecosystems, reducing erosion, stabilizing hillsides, reducing the impact of drought, and making them more resilient to wildfires, as well as sequestering and storing vast amounts of carbon from the atmosphere. These forest ecosystems are worth so much more standing than the value of any of these individual trees that we tend to think of. Yet old growth timber is still being sought by high-end architects and developers all across the world for its tight grain and luster, contributing to the destruction of the last remnants of these forests. Just as luxury demand for ivory threatens elephants with extinction, the demand for old growth timber is leading to the collapse of these ecosystems, the biodiversity they support, the communities that rely on them, and the global climate that they help regulate. It's time we move beyond these cosmetic demands that fuel this destruction by sourcing the wood we use from accredited, ecologically responsible, and rapidly renewable sources that support indigenous nations and the communities that rely on these forests in order to keep them healthy. It's time that we recognize the impacts of our actions so we can make better choices for healthy forests and communities well into the future.